Shalom, Shalom. Exodus chapter 23, verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a case to decline after many rest to judgment. I'm sure many of you brothers might have heard about the situation that occurred in Chicago. And Chicago is a city that I grew up in, you know, born and raised there. However, that's neither here nor there. The caption reads, video shows chaotic confrontation between drag racers, police, and Pilsing 6 Chicago Police Department vehicles damaged. Woman killed in clearing crash. Dangerous drifting caught on camera in West Loop. Let's get right into this news report here. It didn't play. Bear with me, brother. Yeah, you can actually see the skid marks right behind me, Val. Drag racing and drifting is really getting worse. This morning, video shows people violently attacking squad cars with police officers inside of them. And one woman is killed after a crash on the southwest side, which police say started with drag racing. Cell phone video shows the aftermath of that crash early on Sunday morning. Police say a 27-year-old man and 19-year-old woman were speeding down Cicero near 64th when the man changed lanes, crashing into the woman's car and into 40-year-old Shaman Marius, who was standing on the sidewalk, who later died at the hospital. Hours after that, a chaotic confrontation at Canal and Cermak where police tried to respond to reports of more drifting and drag racing, six police squad cars were damaged. Police tell us members of that same group were involved in a street takeover here at Madison and Morgan in the West Loop. When the cops tried to break it up, it moved over to where I live. I remember she said that there was a street takeover, right? Galatians chapter 5 verse 21. Now the works of the flesh are evident, I mean it can be seen, sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, you can't tell me these guys were not living according to their senses, right, which is always impure, idolatry, if any one of you been around a cat or been around a dude that's, that's into cars and that's into, you know, street racing, that's idolatry because the vehicle becomes like a god unto him, right, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, have you ever been in that atmosphere? You know, you can tell that's a fit of anger and, and or rage. Rivalries, right? You got street racing groups that are rival groups, right? Dissension, division, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you as I warned you before. Those that do such things will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. You know, and what you're going to witness here is all of the above. You know, you can't tell me these guys. Let's look back at verse 21. These guys and girls, obviously. You can't tell me these guys and girls that were out there were not envious, were not drunken. You can't tell me afterwards there were not sex and no orgies involved, right? Because you can just look at the atmosphere because you can see the works of the flesh. As the scripture says, it's which is evident. Let's go back to that video here which is close to Racine in Washington. Last month, council members passed an ordinance that allows the city to impound vehicles that are involved in these crimes, even if police officers are not around, but certainly that has not deterred any of the drag racing and drifting yet. Val and Terrell, back to you. And so let's, let's pause here. What I want to do is I found another video to tie in with this exact same story. And look at what the scriptures refer to riot and reveling as peter as peter um mentioned they counted pleasure to revel in the daytime right granted yes this is at night but it's nothing for them to do this man this is this is why yahweh said two-thirds of our people will be left here and melted right these are your, your nephews your nieces that's getting into all type of madness let's get into the video
just don't get it. And a lot of and a lot of our people just don't get it. That's why the that's why the scripture reads, but my people are sodished, right? And they have not known me. Let's come out of this. Let's go here. Let's come out of this scripture. Let's go here, right? Because Second Timothy tells us. Second Timothy chapter three, verse thirteen. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. The peace I want everyone to absorb and to grasp from that. Evil men shall wax worse and worse. Back when I lived in Chicago, Chicago wasn't this bad. It has increasingly gotten worse over the years. Now, you brothers, you know we're in the end times when, when a situation like this occurs. You know, when they hostily take over a, a, a street and block it off, right? Let's get into this other news article and or should I say news story, right? Now, this accident that occurred, it occurred last night. Now, this particular situation still happening in the city of Chicago, it occurred a, a day ago, right? Now, look at what this gentleman says here. As resulted when the large crowds gather, but he fears how police will respond if an emergency strikes. I came out last night and I could see that the police could not get into the crowd because they had blocked off the streets from both ends. So loud, right? His neighbor shares similar anxiety, saying getting to the hospital just around the corner would be nearly impossible. I mean, God forbid we needed to call um, an ambulance for our family. There's no way that an ambulance would be able to get through. Now, you heard what they said there, right? Remember, they said there would be no way an ambulance would be able to get through, right? And that's what you're witnessing here. Right? No one will be able to get in to rescue the injured, right? No one will get in to rescue you. Brothers, what, what you have to understand is that as prophecy is being for revealed, it's always a microaggression, right? Things are going to get seemingly worse and worse, and there's so much happening that you can't ignore it. Does the scripture prophesy about this? Absolutely. Let me come out of this here, right? Let me go back to the scriptures, okay? Let me go back to the scriptures. Let me go. Remember, this is prophesied about in 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 16. I'll start there. There shall be sedition among men, right? Sedition, that's just what you saw in this video. And invading one another, they shall not regard their kings or princesses, police officers, deputies, sheriffs, governors, mayors. You thought them two-third jokers out there gave a shit? They didn't give a damn, right? As the, as the older cat said, they couldn't even get in. As the, as the Edomite said, they couldn't even get in. An ambulance couldn't even get in to rescue the, the ones that were hurt, right? That's what the time period in the scriptures called Jacob's trouble. Let me start over again. Pardon me, brothers. I'll start back up at 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princesses. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And that rioting, and that throwing trees, branches, rocks, bottles, etc. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Was the police able to get in there? Absolutely not. Right? Verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Brothers, this is a microaggression of what's coming ahead. Let's all seek shelter and a hedge of protection around us from Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai. Shalom.